we're seeing the last bits that are just getting through, and now we're getting to tip Sally. Uh, this is great. So you're starting to see those pink fingers um, out there kind of sticking out. Wow, so again, totality here in Mazatlan, Mexico, the first community in North America to experience the moon completely eclipsing the sun. And if you are in Mazatlan right now, it is now safe to remove your eclipse glasses for the next four minutes. And you mentioned some of those pink filaments that we're seeing, right? Can you talk to us a little bit through that, Kelly? Yeah, so those pink filaments, um, they, because they're helium rich, that's why they're they're appearing pink and they're, they're hanging out there. Those could be the start of space weather. So they're uh, lots of tons of material, billions of tons of material that could possibly be one of those explosions for space weather, the reasons why we really study the sun and try to understand how to live with the sun. Mm. Can you explain why space weather is important to us here on Earth? Definitely. So it's not just the satellites that need that uh, are are interested in space weather. It's also our power grids because of those energetic particles coming from those those uh, big explosions that can happen in the sun. Um, that could damage our power grids. It could uh, also uh, do things like interfere with GPS signals. I know we all use our phones to navigate everywhere. Um, so if we didn't have that, that would be a big uh, big problem. So we're uh, looking to understand it better so we can all mitigate all those things. Some of the movement we're seeing here is just our telescope operator adjusting because again they need to make some changes for before totality. Now they're viewing it a different way, and then after totality we might see some shapes there as well. But I really just cannot believe how how crisp it is. As you said, it's not a marvel, but I mean just the view of it is so crisp with these little uh, again those filaments are just amazing that we can see that to, to such accuracy, you know? Definitely, and also the, fu the fu white buzz. I mean that's you're seeing something that's a a million degrees just wow. hanging out all around the sun and you know three uh what is it three billion earths can fit inside there so there's a lot of there's a lot of atmosphere there um all around there just hanging out uh, being very warm and so, you know, one of our mysteries is that one of the the b-57s are addressing there you go wb-57 our pilot yeah. He's flying, so basically, Kelly, he is going to fly and try to, to, to chase down the shadow for as long as possible, keep up with it as long as possible. Exactly. The shadow is much faster than the plane. However, they can chase it for a while and get an extra two minutes. So uh, on the ground, we can only get four and a half minutes, and they're going to get six and a half for that plane. I love that they're waving to us. Oh, there you go. And now we're flipped. Now we're seeing the front. So again, they are in night. I mean, it looks very dark with only some light on in the horizon, yeah? Right, yeah, and that's what we'll expect to. Uh, wherever we see totality is, is the night sky is very dark you might even see some planets or stars um, and then you'll see like twilight all around 360 degrees what an amazing vantage point as well my gosh I'm very jealous. Kelly, are you jealous? I'm kind of I like kind of a little jealous. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to, you know, see if I can make a faster plane so we can, you know, follow it all the whole way. Let's clear up about the clouds. Yeah, yeah. 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 I do want to say a big thank you to the WB57 pilots and the whole team supporting them for that great view. That was awesome. Kelly, you know, you have a wealth of knowledge when it comes to the sun. And, and for those watching, if you're interested in learning more with her, check out her and other experts featured in the Sun series of NASA's Curious Universe podcast. Podcast, and that QR code will pop up on the screen, screen, and that'll take you straight to the episodes. Again, look at that double box we got there. We're showing you amazing views during this broadcast. A big thank you, actually, to the Solar System Exploration Research Virtual Institute, or SERVI, for providing the telescope views for Mazatlan. Yeah, the survey team down there, the survey team is based out of Ames, but it's a collection of, of teams across the country and across the world that are sort of studying this, the intersection of science and exploration, helping us get ready for our next trip with humans to the moon. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, totality is actually about to end in Mazatlan. Let's keep watching our screen right now for, again, what are we watching for, Kelly? Uh, we're watching for the diamond ring effect. So that's when the first bright light we're starting to see over the front there. Um, so you're gonna put your glasses on right now to protect those beautiful eyes. Um, because now we're going back to the partial phase. Whoa, so, wow. that's amazing. Wow. Kelly, that's a filter, by the way, everyone. That's why we're saying that. But when you said put on your glasses, I'm so trained now to do that. I, that I almost did it here in Cleveland. No, we're fine in Cleveland. We're still in Mazatlan. Again, what we're seeing is because we needed to adjust the filter now that, again, we are it's basically like putting on our glasses. The way that you said people on the ground need to put on our glasses, our telescope operators need to protect their own eyes as well as their equipment. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Kelly. I really appreciate your time here with us. It was so fun to learn about the science and actually see the first eclipse come uh, for uh, North America here. So thank you so much.